I hope I'm back. Anyways, idea and abilities were DJ and, a, and an MC together, and uh, idea is dead. But he wrote a song about the life of a goldfish looking out of a goldfish bowl. And it kind of inspired my uh, my channel, really. Like, if you were stuck in a goldfish bowl, like, what would your mind start to wonder? Like, how does that work? What's the story behind that? Like, and then expanding that to a tank. Like, what does the price of glass in China have to do with what kind of materials your tanks are made out of right now? You know, weird stuff like that. Um, what else is new? Oh, um, so I know I mentioned, I'm not going to talk much about it, but my cat passed away, which is a major bummer. Also, my leopard frog plecos, both of them turned up dead after four years of keeping, oh, so I have five, but two turned up dead, same day. Uh, they both look very skinny, and I hadn't seen them for a long time, because they never come out, and they're in a very planted tank. But they look to be the females, so it looks as though I will not be breeding leopard frog plecos ever. So there's fun of that. Um, Euro Gupper says, I've heard that Dean from Aquarium Co-op sings to his fish, but I doubt this jukebox aquarium is anything close to good for fish. Yeah. Isn't that funny picture? Um, of course it's from Aquion. Of course it's from the big box, you know, retailer. Let's put the subwoofer underneath the fish tank and put the treble to the sides. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And let's, like, have little fans blowing up streamers with, like, the stuff you put on, like, a little girl's handlebars on her bike. And, uh... Yeah, that, that's what we'll do. Um, and we'll put LED lights on it. Now, that was a product for 2015. So I'm curious if it still exists. But there's some new research out talking about how sensitive fish are in captivity to sound and how the disease lateral line erosion may, in fact, have links to like overloading, stressing out, and tiring their lateral lines, stimuli, and leading to it not the nerves there basically dying, and then thus a weakened immune system also from stress, and it targeting there. Um, but I kind of had this idea of like, what if we built an acoustic aquarium, <clears throat> like with blocks, you know, the little uh, egg crate, angular blocks to dampen sound like what if you did that underwater i don't know if sound travels in those shapes but you know um i haven't uh i haven't been posting as much this week i still posted two videos but i didn't post my normal five and because of that look it appears as though 16 people know about this stream so youtube can say all they want that oh when you miss a stream we don't punish you for it we don't tell less people that's a bunch of crap so that's what's frustrating is they're like take the time you need for you as a creator and then like if you're gone for one time in your schedule like friday then boom they alert maybe five percent maybe one percent of the people with the bells on you actually have to go to your favorite youtube sites on your own not with a prompt you have to just type it in the search bar go to their channel and click on a video once in a while like every month or two or the, those alerts are useless and it's really frustrating because i have a whole lot of channels i like to watch and it's frustrating that it works that way um Let's see what's going down. Jamie A, welcome. Um, don't deny my aquatic rhymes. I carved out time from a daily grind. Need lyrics on a fish. A simple wish. Songs about guppies and big water puppies. Ooh, I like it, Stephen P. I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, P. Puffer, I ain't no fluffer. Everything in my tank is a carnivore, mother... And I got some mean fish, even though they're real teeny. I got better fish than at the bottom of bikini. 
atoll where irradiated fish are your average dish. They're glowing real green and they're all super mean, even if they're super lean and they're tiny and uh, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not no hip hop artist. Uh, misfits, reptiles, hello, 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 sky dancer, hello, hello, hello. Um, seems to be targeting, yeah, seems to be targeting teenagers. They're just gonna kill their fish quickly. Um, yeah. Fanaticals, uh, I'm always stalking my channels. Well, you are a king among men. Thank you. Ray Aquatics, can't wait to meet you. Right back at you. Uh, Luke, lurking and trimming. All right, swimming and grinning. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll just wait a couple more minutes, see if anybody comes through. It's been six minutes. I don't think anyone's coming through. I think, I think the 33,000 uh, people that watch this channel, I, th I think about 50 got alerted. So, uh, woo, go all algorithm. But I do have a whole big old list of trivia that I put together for the last few hours of aquatic stuff. And they're all songs loosely about water or the ocean or fish or fishing or um, creatures that live in the ocean or aquarium. Uh, or the band has that name or, you know, stuff like that. So I was kind of hoping that we'd have a few more people in here to, to, to get the ball rolling, but... We we can we can uh, we can get going pretty soon here. Anyways, we'll start at the ten minute mark if if uh, all else if, if not if we don't see more folks rolling through. If anybody feels like sharing it, that would be great. But I know how that goes. I don't always feel like sharing stuff. Sometimes I'm like, I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not gonna bug everyone and tell people, oh, this guy's on. But if you want to be that guy that we all hate, feel free to repost or share. So how's everybody doing today, though? How how are the fish? How are the creatures of the wet? Um, Buttface, what's going on? I'm not sure what a milestone chat is, but here I am. Keep up the great work. Sharing your passion for the hobby helps bring newbies in. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Cold Water Aquatics is still live streaming. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that might explain some of it. I usually go at four as well, but we're ten minutes to four. Um, so I figured, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I wanted to go a little earlier because now we've got Aqua Malik. We got, whenever I pick a time within a year, there's like five other people that end up at that time. And it's just cause there's so many channels now and all that, but I don't like overlapping people's time if I can help it usually, but I just have to close my eyes and pick a time that works sometimes rather than trying to see who's doing what just because like before i mean there was a point when i started the channel when the live stream well after it got monetized and everything so probably four years ago four, four to five years ago where you could stream and it'd either be aqua pros lucas brett's Corey from aquarium co-op uh uh no joey didn't do lives back then really um, not very often. And then, uh, Rachel O'Leary sometimes. And really that's kind of it. And then like during the lockdown, it became this big thing, like to just socialize and hang out and live, live streaming became a lot more of an actual activity and like a, a part of fish tube, which I think is great. But, uh, it's interesting how much it has changed and how much more of an emphasis people have on it. Because it also kills your, your like ratings. Like if you're trying to get a sponsor for like an ad, like an ad sponsor, um, they they hate live streams uh, they, because it drops your your time watched per ad watched or whatever your and your click rates and all that kind of stuff. Mick, what's going on? Hey, fishy people, setting up a small Killy exhibition uh for next weekend over here in stockholm right on hope everyone's having a great weekend well that sounds awesome um that sounds really cool uh i want to go to stockholm get the syndrome and all that first class fish hey oh what's up welcome uh misfits says uh 
I remember those days. Yeah, you were there. Uh, then going from that to seeing you pop in on my chat and stuff was also amazing to me. Well, means a lot. Well, you are so welcome. You know, I haven't been in all the ch other channels' chats lately. I've just been, um, for fear, uh, I'm not feeling burned out per se, but for fear of that, like, I, and for also not wanting to copy what's working on popular channels, I've kind of just tried not to watch what's going on unless it naturally comes to me and I'm like, I can't resist watching the video. Or I'm looking for info on a fish that I'm going to do a video on or a topic I'm going to do a video on and I see so-and-so's already done it, then I'm like, okay, well, I'll back off on that. They covered it well. Or, oh, I should address that better. You know, either way. Uh, Ray Cooper, I forget. Um, is the cycle from nitrite to nitrate process the longest part of the cycle? I can't put... I can't get mine to go light blue and stay there. Um, on test strips, I'm trying to confuse what the light blue is. But anyways, so the the longest part, you get ammonia, and that breaks down into nitrites with an I, and then the nitrates. I think of it as like A I A. I don't know why. Like it's a circle. So you go to the ammonia, the nitrites, and then the nitrates with an A. So it's and nitrate, nitrite, the only difference being the I and the A. So I think of it as like, well, then the circle's complete for the cycle. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, the liquid test. I forgot. I forgot. I haven't used those in a while. Like other than um, I, I do those for the nitrates. And once in a blue moon, I use the one for ammonia. Although the ammonia one, they really need to figure that out. Um, <laughs> they need to, like, not use lime green as, like, your first stage. Because the yellow to lime green, like, it always looks like you have 0.25 or 0.5% uh, to me anyways. Uh, not percent, parts per million. Silver Creek, what's going on? Good to see you, my friend. Ahoy, hoy. Yeah, that's how Edison wanted everybody to answer their phone. Uh, mm, maybe it wasn't Edison. It might have been Alexander Graham Bell. Anyways, one of the two guys had a phone company, and that was when he was like, hello is, is so 1880. We should say, ahoy hoy. Okay, it's Alexander Graham Bell. Yes, all right. Good to know. Thank you. All right, so now we got a couple more people coming in. When it hits 30, we'll, we'll, we'll start with the questions. Ray Cooper, what's up? Uh, hi, Sky. Oh, now we're losing people. Oh, man. Man, we're going to need to... I'm going to need buckets to bail this ish out. Um, you know what's interesting is I don't have... or I'm getting these little... I drew little dots around it. That's not anything. But I have a couple of these things that are like... They're, to the touch, they're, they're hard and hot. And I, I don't know what bug could have done it, or if I'm just having some crazy autoimmune thing. Like, you guys have seen what this looked like the other day. Now you can see each little nerve center. When you see a nerve, it actually looks like a white bump. Um, the bigger ones. <laughs> kind of like a taste bud. Like, if you cut yourself badly, you'll see where they come to the surface. And if you've ever had um, shingles or chicken pox or herpes... It runs along those, and uh, the zoaster viruses, they actually um, come up where that flares. And so um, I have spots like here and over here where it's happened several times, and now that nerve is just dead. And it's actually this weird numbness, like just on, like, I can feel this, but where it crosses here, I don't have sensation. Very odd. Anyways... We got 31 people here. Nano Aquarium guy, Judy Abasco, hello, great to uh, see you. Earth Inspired, also good to see you. Uh, come on in. So let's start with the first aquatic trivia. What is the prize? Nothing. Satisfaction. I hope you're happy. If you're not, change your life. Um, you need to say everyone that is testing ammonia, you can't use your finger to block the tube. The cap is necessary. Yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff is, uh, on your hands throughout the day, including your own oils, uh, and dead skin cells and stuff. 
you don't want to use, you want to cap it off, yeah. And then also wait the time it says, like do the thing the thing says to the thing. Um, all right, guys, so we're going to start with a couple of hopefully easy ones, and then we'll work our way up. And I'm just going to go by who I see responding in the chat, and unless someone wants to keep track, I'll just keep track on a piece of paper. Um, who gets it right? And I'm going to take the first three people, because I know there's, like, lag and all that stuff that goes on. So... If, uh, if you guys want to play, DD, what's up? How's it going, my dear, my dear DD? My, my designated DD, how are you doing? Uh, glad you are here. So, I am going to start off with a, we're going to start off with a lyric, I think. And you guys are going to tell me the song and the band. Doesn't need to be in that order, doesn't need to be spelled right. I just need to know what you're talking about. So, the first one is going to be, catfish are jumping, the paddle wheel is thumping, Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on me? So you guys should get that one, uh, if, if you haven't been living under a rock. Oh, okay, so we need the, the band and the name, but I'm going to give you guys points for now. Uh, so we got Silver Creek. And tree, you're going to have a point each, and then who else is, and I guess I'll give Luke, but what I really would like is to see Doobie Brothers, Blackwater, or, you know, whatever, but I'm going to give you guys points anyways, so Luke, Tree, and Silver Creek got a point there. All right, next one. We're warming it up. We're, we're putting the baby in the bath water. Hey, so you know what's crazy? I've been feeding this cat for, I don't know, eight months. And her name is Silky because she's Silky. Very, very thoughtful name. And Silky has, I thought she was in the house, and that's why the door is open right now. But... Silky is feral, very feral, like Perry Feral from Jane's Addiction. Uh, and she attacks everyone except for me now because I feed her. Uh, but if you get anywhere near her or kind of like scare her when she's in the garage, she'll like get down and go and like, yeah, she's real hardcore. Adrian, I hope you're doing well. I'm glad you're watching the show. I don't have a musical. The end. But Adrian, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And hello. Uh, let's see here. Pisces. Okay, what's going on? We got so many Canadians in the house. I love it. Uh, uh, can I come up? Will you sponsor me? Sponsor me, everybody. I'd like to move to Vancouver. Vancouver. All right. Next song. Should be an easy one, but I'm going to need the band name and the song name in the same thing. Doesn't matter which way you want to do it. The spelling's not important. Okay, so. I went to the beach. Mm -mm -mm, and under the dock. Mm -mm -mm, there, I saw a rock. It wasn't a rock. It was a dead diver. Uh, okay, so what's the band and the song? Oh, Earth Inspired got a point there. Earth Inspired. And who else came in on my list? Your kiss is on my list because your kiss, your kiss is Silver Creek again. Uh, and he did it with both parts, which is great. So, Silver Creek got two points. Uh, and who else got it next with both? Uh, all right, Tree. Tree got it again, too, with uh, doing the name and the band. The B-52's Rock Lobster. Awesome, guys. All right. Let's see here. 
Alors, let's go next. Um, I've got an obscure one, and if we got any diehard Beatles fans, we might get a bite. We might get a nibble on this one. Um, and the name of the song is kind of well, it is in the the in some of the lyrics, but. I always love this album because it's the album he did right before he died and he knew he was dying and he did it at his studio with a bunch of other artists. The cat is like laying down and I can tell trying to put its claws under the door. That's so cute. I'm going to have to tame that cat. Um, anyways, so uh, and he had a very famous recording studio where he did it and uh, it was his last album before he passed away. Uh, but the lyrics go like this so i would just need the artist and then the name of the song if you guys know it and on this one i would just take even who the artist is and if you're listening you know it's one of four. Oh, jimmy p is like fired up he is fired up hey zen ginger what's going on good to see you too all right I'm a Pisces fish, and the river runs through my soul. I actually have a bit of a cold, so I can't do the nasally thing very well. It's, like, blocked. Um, Canadian geese crap along the banks. A bull of gear sitting near the water. As mad cows go off to the banks. I, uh, I'm a pint. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, guys. We got Nano Aquarium Guy on the board now. Nano Aquarium Guy. And it's Pisces Fish by George Harrison. Very good. Uh, and then Jimmy P also. I'm going to give you a point because you just, like, knew that right away. Um, anybody else try to get on the, the, the train there? Uh, <laughs> it wasn't a yellow submarine, but it's almost like someone's clairvoyant. Since someone said, Bob Dylan, I want to do a trivia question about him. Except it's not about him. It's about someone who wanted to be him. <coughs> Ginger, Ginger Baker, Eric Clapton. Should we do a thing about that? No, okay, never mind. Um, all right, let's go with, uh, all right. This was the UK's answer to Bob Dylan. And in 1967, he scored his first American hit, which was a song about an ancient mythical society. What was the name of the artist and the song? Bueller. Bueller. Asha Llewellyn, what's going on? Good to see you. Um, I can do I can do a, a hint. Okay, so again, this man was the answer to Bob Dylan for the UK recording charts. So he's a folky pop singer, and. Finally, in 1967, he scored a U.S. number one hit with a song about an ancient mythical society. And remember, all these things have to do with water or oceans or fish or aquariums or boats or whatever. So, um, I'm going to give another hint. Way down... Oh, okay, all right. I see things are, are getting put together. Pieces of the puzzle are falling into place, but we've got the song, we need the artist. All right, Silver Creek, Silver Creek, uh, Silver Creek is talking to his wife, so somebody else can come in here and steal. Otherwise, all right, well, Zen Ginger is getting a point. And what's up from El Paso? Howdy. Hope you're doing well. Great to have you. Oh, yeah, Nano Aquarium Guy gets another point. Now we just need something to put it together. Uh, Earth-inspired, you're going to get it um, because... 
Yeah, it's Atlantis by uh, Donovan. It was his first kind of psychedelic one. I mean, you could say uh, Catch the Wind was also a pretty other one. Or first there is a mountain, then there is no mountain, then there is caterpillar sheds his skin to find the butterfly within. Fish is swimming up the tree, or up the tree, up, up the stream to get above. Fish are swimming up the stream, stream full of rocks. Juanita, I don't know what the heck. Oh yeah, Hurdy Gurdy Man, that's off the same album, yep. Oddly, it's weird, like, what was a number one song versus what was a, like, number eight or a number 15, even. It all just depends on what other albums came out. ABC, what's up? I hope you're doing well, my friend. John McKenzie, also hope you're doing well. Emphasizing things by hitting things with other, with my hands. All right, let's, let's do, um, Okay. Let, let's do more of the... I'm going to do the lyrics. You guys have to do what song it is. Um, okay. What you know about rolling down in the deep. When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. I can't really say much more. I kind of spoil the song. But that's a new one for, for the kids. For the, for the cool cats. With their, uh, with their, uh, tweed coats and their reefer. Anybody know that one? When your brain goes slow motion and you... Yeah, oh, Zen Ginger! There's a point, anyways. Anybody put it all together? Cassie B, Cassie B, Cassie B, 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 How are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna be in Florida in, like, a week and a half. I'm going to be on the other coast, but maybe you could be on the other coast and we could all be on the same coast. Or I could go towards the middle because I want to go collect fish and I want to go to Silver Springs again. Um, it was really pretty there, even though it's really touristy. I love the glass bottom boat. I want to steal that boat they have there and like push the guy out who uh, uh, Sky Dancer also gets a point. Uh, yeah. George, what's up? Um, Xanadudu, what's up? Like the shorter hair? Makes me think it's finally time for your post-Rona <laughs> cut. <coughs> well, good. Um, sure. I mean, do what's you. Uh, this, I, I still haven't decided, like, you know, do I want to actually put product in it? Do I want to be a human being that has, that does things to get ready in the day? Um, or do I want a pompadour or do I just, or do I want to like world war one it and, or twenties it and just kind of like let it sit. Well, right now it's just all fluffy because it went from 95 degrees Fahrenheit or like, what is that? 33 degrees Celsius yesterday with 78% humidity at night to this morning. I woke up and it was 60 and it's been like 65 to 70 all day with like misting rain and it, but it dropped like 30 some degrees in i don't know four hours pretty intense um vinoski what's up elder pinto hello 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 welcome david rayner also hello drugs ah yeah hope you're sipping your milk there boy all right, so here comes some more lyrics. I'm going to need either, well, actually, ideally, I'm going to need the artist, don't worry about spelling, and the song, or one of them. One of them would be nice. If you only know one, I'll give you a point. But I'm giving people two points if they knew both right off the get-go. All right, so let's go with uh, one for... for because I'm thinking of Cassie B. Let's go for one for anybody who's uh, down in the southerly direction of our fair country. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. I can plow a field all day long. I can catch catfish from dusk till dawn. We can skin a buck. We can run a trot line. Drinking that homemade wine. 
Anybody? Anybody? Oh, 3G coming out of nowhere with both the correct answers. Boom. He gets a point. Zen gets a point. And Earth Inspired gets two points. Bum, bum, bum. Good job. All right. Let's go back to, like, 90s generation instead of 80s. Okay. If you're drinking, well, you know that you're a friend of mine. And I'll say, have another beer. And if I pass out on your floor now, baby, then you won't bother me no more. And if I get drunk and I pass out on your floor now, baby, well, you won't bother me no more. Okay, so I'm going to need the name of the band. That's going to be the main one on this. This, uh, And it's it's a... Let's say there's brass instruments in this short-lived uh, genre of music in the 90s. Uh, ooh, got a close guess there with the no with the Nofix. No effects. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Pretty similar lyrics, Mick. Uh, pretty similar lyrics. Um, all right, I'm trying to think. Yeah, mountain greenery coming out of nowhere. Yes. Siri Bob Mountain Greenery getting the point getting two points with real big fish and beer. That is awesome. Can we please see the well being of your fish while you sing, please? Uh no. The, their lights are all off. Uh, they, and the tanks suck. Uh, like I said, I lost my leopard, frog, uh, plecos. Two of them the same day today. Don't know why. Um, and I've had them for going on. It'll be like four, almost five, four and a half years, I guess. And I raised them from itty bitty little teeny guys that were really cheap from aquatic arts way back in the day. Um, ah, Rob Thomas is from Orlando. Interesting. I didn't know that. Straight up. What did you hope to learn about me? If I'm someone else, would this all fall apart? All right, butt face, welcome, even though you're behind. <laughs> butt face is behind. Anybody? Any? I'm here all night or for another half hour. All right, guys, let's see. Next song. Um, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, okay, so I'm going to need the band... Or the artist. If you know the artist and not the band, that's fine. Uh, and the song. And this is lyrics that have to do with fish. So, as tiny purple fishes run laughing through your fingers. And you want to take her with you to the heartland of the winter. Um, so, if anybody can, can, can do that song uh, from the psychedelic era. Uh, and Ginger, your friend of the same name, was in the same, was in that band. Uh, and it is, uh, okay, yeah, I'll repeat it. The, the lyrics go, it's a psychedelic era band, and it goes, Tiny purple fishes run laughing through your fingers, and you want to take her with you to the heartland of the winter. And then there's a bunch of lines about mermaids and, uh, well, I don't want to give it away, but Greek stuff. Uh, and we got, uh, we got Nano Aquarium Guy and we got 3G that are definitely on the right track. I'll give them the point if nobody can put together the name of that song. Because it's a kind of an obscure one, kind of. I mean, you'll hear it on the radio once in a while. Um, it is Cream, it is Cream, and it's Eric Clapton, so I'll give it a point for you either way. Zombie Cat, hello, hello, hello. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, it's Tales of Great Ulysses is the name of the song. And, uh, 
It's a really trippy song, lyrics-wise. Uh, it's like, And you find yourself with purple mermaids, And they come and they ride a crimson shell. And you find yourself uh, with horses climbing down silver moonbeams. Like, really uh, out there stuff. Um, it's not uh, Sunshine wait, of Your Love, if that's the one you were thinking of. Uh, but it's Tales of Great Ulysses. Yeah, so we're going to give 3G, and who was the other one you thought? Nano Aquarium Guy can both get a point out of that one, because I like giving points. Mm. All right. How's everybody doing? Okay, let's see here. You ever read the lyrics to Rosetta Stone by Tool? That's a fun one. Uh, you know, I have, I'm sure. I've read most of Tool's lyrics at some point. Because I'm always like, what is he freaking talking about? Uh, but my favorite one is uh, the... Um, well, actually, I have several. But Sober and Prison Sex and uh, then... Anima, or however you want to say that. Uh, an 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 anima. Uh, the whole learn to swim, learn to swim, learn to swim. That was the, when I heard that, I was like a teenager and real amped up and just like, yes, this is how I feel. And like my mom was working in LA and I had to go live there for three months. And I was like 14. And I was like, oh, this city sucks. Everyone here sucks. And they're so like, I don't know. Because Seattle is very granola, especially in the 90s. It was very like granola and um, like not flashy with materialism at the time. It's now become pretty flashy. Like instead of being flashy like LA, it's like, oh, I'm more green. I have a jacket that's made out of recycled hemp made from orphans or whatever. And it costs $5,000, and you should know this Lululemon brand uh, that they opened the store, and everybody got five of them, and then they didn't make any more. That kind of trendy, um, elitist-type thing exists in Seattle, but less of the, like, I've got a Rolex that's worth half a million. But I remember being down in L.A. and thinking, like, wow, this is surreal, like, how insecure and shallow the the like culture was and then that song came out and I was really into like corn and Marilyn Manson and all that kind of industrial and semi gothic and punk and yeah but then Tool when they they hit I was like wow yes this is it this is what I this is what I'm talking about all right <coughs> all right so speaking of uh, somebody's comments, that is. This band has... That cat is trying to get in. Okay, this band has an ice cream named after them by an independent... Well, I shouldn't say independent anymore. By a smaller-sized ice cream company. Uh, no, that's not even fair to say. I don't know how why I wrote it. That. Okay, this band has an ice cream flavor named after them. But they have... No top 50 hits on the American charts. And their lead singer has grossed over $100 million in his career. What band? Oh, yeah. Zen. Ding, 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 ding. Definitely not the Eagles. Eagles ice cream. <laughs> Three G. I hate your phone too. Cast. Uh, you know, I, I was giving it to the first three people. People could have just copied answers and like shamelessly. That's okay if you get one of the. Although Cherry Garcia would have been a get a good guess, but Fish and Fish Food is the correct. You know, it's kind of interesting that those are the two bands that they've got ice cream and then Stephen Colbert. They used to have an ice cream that Ben and Jerry's made like maybe 20 years ago called From Russia with Buzz. And they haven't had it, at least on the West Coast, since I was in high school. But I love that freaking ice cream. It was like 
latte, normal coffee, chocolate mocha espresso, and... Oh, and then there's dark chocolate pieces in it and ground up coffee beans with, um, there was something else, vanilla ice cream too, like all swirled together. Man, that was good. Uh, all right, let's see here. Okay. This Long Beach based band had widespread radio play even after their lead singer died. And this song is ocean themed and surf themed band and song ooh ooh i see part of the equation popping up quickly long beach probably gave it away everclear you know everclear also out of there offspring also out of there anybody going to name the song Lord knows I'm weak. Won't somebody get me off of this reef? <laughs> but face got it. Bad fish, mountain greener. I'm giving you a point too. You you knew what was up. Okay. Oh, Ocean Avenue. Wasn't that band was uh, Yellow Card though, right? There's a place called Ocean Avenue where we can do something with you. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. What's the name of this band? Come on, Barbie. Let's go party. Oh uh, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, we got Zen Ginger, Silver Creek Aqua uh, Aquatics, and Mountain Greenery all coming in right there. And you know what? I'm going to give Mick a point too. Silver Creek, <laughs> Mountain Greenery, and Zen. Man, ripping it up, Zen. You're in the lead. Um, okay, need another soda. They're out of Dr. Pepper again. Danish pop. I thought they were like Swedish or something, but I'll trust y'all on that one. <laughs> I don't want to be seen. Uh, I don't want to be seen actually knowing where the group Aqua is from. They are the ABBA, but without hits of the '90s. 1997 was a hard year for music. Uh, let's see here. Check out Samantha Fish. She is an awesome blues guitarist. All right, I'll definitely check her out. That's one I don't know right off the top of my head anyways. Um, is and Ginger knows the trash music. Uh, don't know any of the deep cuts, but I pop culture top 40, you know. All right, and ice cream. Well, I don't know what that says, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> Mick, I'm a little ashamed over here. You'll upvote ABBA? All right. Well, I couldn't think of any ABBA songs about fish or aquariums or oceans even. Um, okay, next one. This Beatles tune also focused on surreal ocean adventures and actually became its own animated movie in 1968 by the name of its title track. Yeah, all right. That was a good one. Silver Creek... Steven and Zen? Nice. Silver Creek, Steven. Steven, uh, I, I don't see that I've written down your name yet, loser. No, I'm just kidding. I, oh, I did actually. You've got two. Um, and then who else did I say? Uh, Steven. Oh, Zen. Zen again, really? Man, rocking it. Zen, 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 where did I put you? All right, there you are. Okay. Uh, yeah, you said it about 20 minutes ago. Does that count? Mm, no. Okay, let's see here.
Oh, you just woke up again. Is that is that it, huh, Stephen? Stephen P. Okay. Well, fine. Okay. This electronic dance music, or EDM, as I decided to call it, instead of techno with a K, um, is how I used to spell it. Uh, but where did it go? Oh, name this EDM dance music artist with a fishy name. Uh, hold on one sec. Uh, they had a pop hit called Games Continued in 2016 with 60 million streams as of date. Hey, look at what's outside my window. <laughs> I have a little kid outside my window and I am streaming. And apparently, it sounds like he just Kill, yes, the cat learned to knock on the door. Yeah, no, um, apparently, uh, so I got him an African clawed frog, which I'm pretty sure turned out to be an African dwarf frog. Like, we looked at it really closely. No claws. Um, so it might have been someone threw it in there this summer, and because I don't think it would survive year-round. Anyways, long story short, I gave it to a six-year-old with his dad's, uh, whatever, uh, uh, assistance and guidance. They put it in, in an aquarium with like pink gravel and like plastic plants that are neon color and like a rave light that like strobed. And that was two days ago. I mean, I gave it to him a week ago. They had it in a cup and it was doing fine in the cup. They put it in that tank and now it's dead two days later. Mm, not gonna, I'm not, I mean, I know that's what kids would like. What a six year old is gonna want is the bright colors and stuff. But I was like, ah. Uh, also gave them a largemouth bass and uh, a newt, so we'll see what happens. But Regina, hello, 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 hello. Pink gravel does it again. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Alex needs a sign on the door. Not don't knock on the window. Yeah, I feel like a fish. Like you know, like when you're on the glass, ding 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 ding. I always get nobody visits me ever, and then when I'm streaming the neighbor kid or my wife or my buddy who walks who I love dearly but he walks the neighborhood and the timing is just always like he, he lives about a mile away so it's nice of him to stop by when he is in the area but he'll come by walking his newborn and he'll you know he'll knock too and then they'll send me message after message and they don't get like when I'm not responding it doesn't mean come over um, but if they're out anyway whatever anyways uh, give a kid a frog, he'll ask for a newt. Give a kid a newt, he'll ask for a bass. Give a kid a bass, it'll eat the frog and the newt. That was going to be the plan, right? Okay, the other thing is he has a painted northwest pond turtle. Uh, they have in a 40-gallon uh, aquarium. And uh, we caught a whole bunch of bass for him. We caught um, Sushi and I, my neighbor, uh, He's Sri Lankan, and he, um, his real name's like Sue Shelf, and he, um, he and I have gone out, we went and did the, the video where we walked through the, the old growth canyon and river, and, uh, he is, uh, he's into animals and stuff, and so he wants to build a koi pond across both of our properties so that we can build a big one, like a real big one, um, so... We want to do that. The wives don't want us to do that, but... Uh, Zen. Okay, regarding trivia, I'm trying, but I can't come up with anything. So I'm going to guess Marshmallow or Diplo EDM. Uh, yeah, it's a hard one. Um, <laughs> you caught some sushi for the turtle? Yes, indeed. Can you hear me knocking? Yeah. Um, or I hear you knocking... But you can't come in. I hear you knocking. Is that David Edmonds or something? It's like another one hit wonder. Um, let's see here. Wait. Where is. Oh, it's not minute work, but uh, you don't get a point. No, not at all. Okay. Knock three times on the. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, what, it's a, a group called Goldfish, who I didn't really know who they were, but they've got over a billion plays on, uh, on, um, Spotify. So I was like, well, maybe somebody will know who they are. Uh, one man's ceiling is another man's floor. Okay, let's see here. What's next? Okay... Okay, this hip-hop group, a trio, had a catchy single about being romantically rejected called Another Fish. What is the name of this West Coast hip-hop group? So again, this hip-hop group had a catchy song this will be late 90s uh and a hit single about romantic rejection called another fish like as in there are other fish in the sea that plenty fish in the sea i'm trying to think of another song they do to give you guys a hint but if you know um Al Van Roon says, Hey Alex, for the first time uh, joining one of your live sessions, mostly for the time difference with the Netherlands, sitting back and enjoying it already. Well, glad to hear that. We're doing something a little bit different today just because I had a shit week and uh, I just decided I wanted to do music and, you know, goof around with my friends, which are you guys. So um, that's what we're doing. We're just doing music trivia that's vaguely related to aquatic things, water, boats, fish, things like that. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, you're Alex too? Right on. Well, welcome. Come on in. Mr. Squiggle, brush it off. Some call me Ludacris, some call me Mr. Wiggle. Far from Vittle. This something is not whatever. Uh, Alexa doesn't know Jack. Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right, so... Um, Let's see here. So another hint about this group is they had a independent spin-off artist who's in a pretty niche uh, DVD that came out, which was, um, and his name was Fat Lip, and he had a documentary called What's Up Fat Lip by uh, the same guy um, who did that Christopher Walken music video with Fatboy Slim where Christopher Walken's like floating around the room. Um, and, um, Fat Lip was in the group before he left that group, if that helps anybody. Um, the other thing is, um, She Keeps On Passing Me By or Passing Me By was another one of their big hits. They had about four hits that were, like, in the top five charts in the 90s, um, or top ten, uh, this group. But, um, it's not De La Soul. Yeah, yeah, Mountain Greenery nailed it. Boom. Mountain Greenery, Steven, and Evan. Right on. Mountain Greenery. Boom, that gives you five. Steven. Gives you three. Um, far side. And then, you know, they had that song, Lots of Fish in the Sea. Um, okay. Okay, okay, here's one for people who are younger again, or like my age and younger. In 2003, the musical group Brand New released the album Deja Attendu, an oddly titled song with an aquatic and cinematic reference was the following song. So can you think of a song by the group Brand New that has like a semi-aquatic theme? You can Google it, guys. Who's the fastest Googler? Unless we got some emo kids in here. Uh, 
Mark Sturlson, what is going on? Lady Rorschach, hope you're doing well. Fish and Shrimp by Rich, welcome all the rest. Um, yes, you got it, Alex, you got it, man. Jaws swimming, or theme swimming. Weird song name, huh? And Steven also got it. Um, our, uh, A.W. Van Roon. I'm gonna assume it's A.W. My name's Alex Williamson. I'm guessing A.W. Um, uh, 3G refused to Google. Good for you. Alexander William Van Roon. Right on. Okay, because your name looks very, uh, either like Irrawaddy or Pashtun- uh, like Indian. It looks Indian, actually. Uh, it, you know, Al Van Roon. Uh, Al, uh, like, at first glance, but now I totally get that it's like Dutch. Okay. Cool name. Yeah. I'm waiting for Pearl Jam, uh, or Neil Young. Okay, I got a Neil Young watery song. When you're out of the blue and into the no, wait, that song doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, the Out of the Blue was the part that I was thinking of water. How about... Down by the blank, I shot... Oh, I can't say that word. My lady. Ooh, I shot her dead. Now the stream is demonetized. Aqualon 3G. You're getting close. Okay, guys, I got another one. Got another one. Okay. Out of their numerous songs, Led Zeppelin arguably has three to four songs about the ocean, water, or aquatics. Name two Led Zeppelin songs about aquatics or the ocean. Got to be in the same response. I'm giving you a hint here. Damn it. Yeah, arguably when the levees break, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll count that, but, um, yeah, that was one where I was like, eh, does that count? <coughs> Fool in the Rain, no. Um, the Ocean When the Levees Breaks, I will count that one, so I'll count that as one. Mountain Greenery, you got a lot of points, six points. Uh, I don't know Water's Edge, Cassie. The Ocean is another good one. Um, when the levee breaks, I'll definitely count. Moby Dick, that was the one I was kind of looking for, honestly. So, Steven, I'm going to give you one there, too. Man, you're coming, coming back from behind, coming up from the rear. Smoke on the Water is not them. Yeah, Down by the Seaside is also another one that could be them. That's a cover, but yeah, I that's another one where you could, uh, that, that I put on the list of four. That drum solo, though. Yeah, Sky Dancer. Uh, I got, I got you. Um, yep, that's Deep Purple. Hush, hush, thought I heard a call in my name. Now hush, hush. And then there's, uh, Vanilla Fudge did a version, but, but, Deep Purples is much better. Of uh, Must be the season of the witch. Actually, Donovan did a good version of that song, too. Erewhon been doing that song. You got to pick up every stitch. Oh, no. Must be the season of the witch. Yeah. All right. So everybody knows Octopus's Garden was going to be on this list. Who wrote Octopus's Garden? Much to the chagrin of the two usual writers of most lyrics in the band, the Beatles. Mountain Greenery, Mark Sturlson. And Sage P. Lindsay. Nice, yeah, it was Ringo. It was Ringo. Actually, his name was Pete Best. And he died early on. 
and Ringo wore his body as a skin suit. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. What's the next thing we have? Okay, this progressive band. <laughs> okay, this flute loving progressive classic slash heavy rock for the time band had a 1971 album with a lead hit and the album title of the same name. Yes, Mark. Got it again. Got he! Uh, Alishon, I'll give it to you. Mountain Greenery. Yes, you got the aqua lung. That was kind of key. That was kind of key, the, the aqua lung. So Sage P. Lindsay's going to get a point. You get a point. You get a point. I'll give John a point, too. Dude can rock a flute. Dude, I saw him in 1994, I want to say. Dude did a backflip at, like, however old he was, 54 or something. Uh, that was pretty impressive. He did a backflip in his little elfy, gnomey looking self. Ian Anderson. Snot running down his nose. Greasy fingers smearing shabby clothes. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Aqualung. Do you still remember... September's foggy freeze when he lashed at regs on to your bed you were screaming agony and the magic spring okay this song has more hits and listens than every song I've talked about today so far on streaming platforms slash YouTube. This 2016 song was created by a children's music group called Pink Fong. Unfortunately, it has been played over 20... Oh, ho, 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 Silver Creek. Bam. Got it. Got he. And I'm not going to sing it. Okay, here we go. Here comes everybody with the answer. Uh, Silver Creek got you. Uh, 3G got you. Alishan got you. Zen will give you one. Why not? Um, Puff the Magic Dragon. Live by the do to do. Um, Oh man, the Nano Aquarium guy, I'm sorry. Dan Leach, hello, trained attack cat, that is correct. Um, Alright, let's see here. Um, like a deep sea diver who was swimming with a raincoat. Hold on, and okay, I'm not going to actually do the rest. I think from that song, or from that lyric, do we know? Doesn't have any, nothing has anything to do with aquatics other than that line. But... The same band has another, they were kind of, they weren't a one-hit wonder, they were a one-album wonder in the 90s, 97. And uh, they have a line, that was, I was swimming like a deep sea diver, or like a deep sea diver who was swimming with a raincoat is one of the lyrics. And then, I want to stand with you on a mountain, I want to bathe with you in the sea, was another lyric from another song of theirs on the same album. Boom! Zen Ginger just eating up the 90s stuff and aw van room boom 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 i want you in my room we'll spend the night together and do, do, do. chicka cherry cola hold on and breathe a little faster i don't even remember the words so breathe in and get a bit higher the thing and i can't help you Mm, I want you, I don't know what I need you. Okay, back to psychedelic jams. All right. This Seattle artist, you can probably figure it out just from that, uh, wants to get you to take a substance, wants to know if you have taken that substance, Says he's taken that substance, 
And he wants to watch the sunrise from the bottom of the sea. What is the name of the song, not the artist? And it's part of his band name in the song. I am the walrus. I am the walrus. Shut up, Donnie. Not Purple Haze. Oh, 3G. Boom. Nailed it. Nailed it. And we can hold hands and watch the sunrise from the bottom of the sea. Mountain greenery. Man, you got a lot of points, son. Mick. Are you experienced? 3G. Yes. Give you guys all points. Sage P. Lindsay. Hangs head in shame. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Uh, my wife and I had a Hendrix, eh, roughly Hendrix themed thing to our wedding. Like, uh, Little Wing is what we walked down the aisle to. And then she came out with her dad to um, Angel. And then our first dance was to. Oh, wait, or was. Oh, Castles Made of Sand was what our first. No, not Castles Made of Sand. Now I'm going to... Uh, good thing she's not watching. I'd be murdered. Angel came down from heaven yesterday. That was our dance. Uh, yeah, we played Hey Joe. That was it. Yep. Actually, we played 51st Anniversary as a joke during the dance part, which is... Um, 51 years I've been married. 51st. Can't wait. To roll around. Uh, 50, 25, I've been married. And we've done everything that could be done. Oh, you know they had their fun. Bum, bum, bum. Well, now they're old and happy. Daddy's down at the whiskey house. Okay, all right, guys. Here comes another one for you uh, country lovers. Well, and, and folk. All right. Father, forgive me for what, what we must do. You forgive us, and we'll forgive you. And we'll forgive each other till we're both a turning blue. And we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven with you. Anybody know the artist or the song? <clears throat> he also did a song called, he died not long ago, but he did um, Send Me an Angel from Montgomery. Uh, send me an angel, fly to Montgomery. Send me a postcard of an old rodeo. Just give me one thing that I can hold on to. Out of this living's just a hard way to go. Um, anybody getting it? I'm trying to think of another song he did just so we can get his name. Uh, I mean, he's got a lot of songs. Uh, Well, he did a song called Drunk Again. Drunk again here with all of my friends. Yes, he did die from the Rona or something similar complication. Yes, Sage, Pete, Lindsay. Boom, I'm giving you two points for that, for pulling that one out of the well. The song is called, uh, by the way, it was Fish and Whistle, and it was by John Prine. Um, all right, let's see. I've got a couple more. All right. Oh, that shark deer, he has sharp teeth, pearly whites, and he shows those with Mac Heath deer when the shark bites. 
those teeth, scarlet billows, start to spread. Yup, Mac the knife. Boom. Who does it? Who does it? Who that? Alishon. You guys didn't wait for the question. Now you're all learning a lesson from Alishon, who gets the point first. Louis Armstrong, it does sound kind of... Uh, it's not old blue eyes either, but it... Mac the knife... He Although, okay, Frank Sinatra did cover it. But in the words of my grandfather, who hated Frank Sinatra, mostly because my grandma loved him, was... Get your Perry Como out of here. Uh, was because uh, he called him a draft dodging son of a bitch. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm tired as well. Uh, Craig, what's up? B Wood, what's up? Those late crooners. Yeah, a lot of those late crooners sing it. Uh, Bobby Darren is actually who wrote it um, and, and first recorded it. Yeah, Fish Music Trivia. I don't know, because you don't care. Um, let's see here. Do I have any other songs that I wanted to do? Um, hmm. Let's see here. I don't know that I do. I think we, I think we, uh, uh, boa, I say boa. Um, oh, this is the only song to chart the Billboard hits, sung by a lobster. Well, by a man who played a lobster named Sebastian. What is the name of this song? Rock Lobster. It's not Rock Lobster. Someone else has got everyone's saying that. Ah, oh, Zen Ginger, you got it, you win. Here's to you, Zenny. Zen, Zen and Mountain Greenery won this whole thing, like, handily. Sky Dancer, you're going to get a point. You get a point. You get a point. Uh, <laughs> kiss the girl. <laughs> yeah, uh, that could have been it, too. Um, what other did I have? I, oh, I do have one. Oh, I have two more, actually. I have two more of them. That are that are questions. Okay. <clears throat> Man, I got a cough. All right. Yeah. Um. The two soul, two lost souls swimming in a fish bowl. We covered some of this music trivia or, or different music trivia with my wife on another episode. So I tried not to do all those same ones, and I tried to like not do Billy Ocean, because I was just sick of him. I don't know why. I just like, no Billy Ocean. No Frank Ocean, either. Um, but yeah, we'll do another round if I can come up with another round of questions. But that was a good question, because it was like the first one that came to my mind um, when we did this the first time, uh, was Wish You Were Here. Okay, this 1989 Billy Joel song about Nantucket fishermen and their plight of their dying culture because they overfished everything uh, was named after his daughter, in fact. But what is the full name of the song? It's like a ballad and there's seagulls in it because it's Billy Joel. And they say that we can't catch no stripers. There are monsters out there in the canyons. It's not Piano Man. <laughs> he did not name his daughter Piano Man. <laughs> Although he should have named his <laughs> daughter Piano Man. <coughs> mm. 
Well, happy birthday to your partner. All right, I need to give a... So the first part of the song is Down Easter. So now you know his daughter's name and the rest of the song is another word. It's a name. Close enough, Alishon, you get the point. <laughs> Where did I write your name? Oh, there you are. Down Eastern Alexa, or Down Eastern Alexa. Okay, last question, and it gets a little weird, wiggly, wiggly, weird. Um, Sid Barrett, who famously lost his mind and was one of the founding members of Pink Floyd. Uh, he is the crazy diamond that must shine on. He wrote a song about his love of cephalopods. Not his love of gnomes named Grimble Grumble, but his love of cephalopods. This album came out in 1988. So it was a late one, but he wrote the song in the 60s. And it has a simple title that is aquarium or aquatic or sea related. Sid Barrett's song about a cephalopod. Ritesh Das, what's up? Dan Leach, Roger Waters on an island. Hip, hip. On an island in the sun. If I mean, you guys should know there's like one type of cephalopod. Google cephalopod if you don't remember what a cephalopod. Well, there's two that are pretty common. But it's not even late Floyd. It's crazy Sid Barrett in a mental institute. Actually, he was out of the mental institute by that point. And he was actually kind of being held hostage by uh, a manager of his estate. Oh, Nautilus is close, but that okay, 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 there's more cephalopods that I forgot. Yes, B. Wood, B. Wood gets it. It is octopus, or the octopus, with the in parentheses. Now, because I had a crap week with the dead cat and just stuff, I don't have any prizes, okay? Okay? It's asking an awful lot of Mr. Alex for prizes. But I can tell you that Zen Ginger wins with nine points, that Mountain Greenery wins or is in second with eight points, and Silver Creek Aquarist had seven points, and then there's a bunch of ties, and we've got uh, 3G, Sage, uh, Nano Aquarium, uh, Stephen P., and Mick all tied below that and then under that we've got sky dancer we've got uh butt face john mckenzie silver creek tree uh earth oh jimmy p sage if i didn't say that already and Alex Van Roon. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to call it an evening, a night. We'll call it a day. Uh, but I think Kenny and his booty boys or whatever they're calling themselves these days. Uh, love me some Kenny. Uh, I think they're going to be on later. And I don't know what's on now. Maybe, let's see, in another hour, uh... Yes, Gilmore did produce that album as like a favor to to uh, Sid Barrett. Congratulations on winning nothing. Actually, I'll keep that list, and if we play uh, trivia again like this, I will. Um, I'll do. We'll do some sort of prize. Um, oh, everyday fish keeping is on now. Great, thank you, uh, Cass. I appreciate it. And if you haven't watched Cass's channel, watch Cass's channel. All right, guys, I hope you had some fun. I needed a fun stream. I needed a strong, sturdy stream. And with Flowmax, you can get that. Um, no, anyways, 
Uh, thank you guys. Having some fun. Keeping my mind a little distracted from going a little crazy. Less modern stuff. Uh, you know, that's always the complaint is there's no modern stuff. There's no country. There's no hip hop. And so I tried to get those things in there. And now we got everyone saying, oh, play more classic rock stuff. I'm never going to win with y'all. Well, it's not me doing it. It's usually Saturday morning cartoons does it. We could do the one note challenge thing too. Um, that that we'll probably have to resort to because there's so many, there's not that many songs related to aquatics that are widely known, that are even like known in a niche. So you can make the question easier by like, you know, this band, the Wombats or whatever, did a song called this and they mentioned this creature which is known for living in other creatures' shells. And it's like, oh, hermit crab or whatever. Like Herman's hermit crabs. I don't know. Uh, but we'll think about it. Jolene! <laughs> John McKenzie, yes. Uh, but thanks for joining me, y'all. I hope you have a good one. Thank you, mods. Zen, you were, I know you were here. I don't think you had to do anything, which is great, because you guys are well-behaved. Clearly, YouTube's not telling anyone that I'm streaming, because I missed a stream. And uh, I'm not bitter. I'm not, I'm not mad. Just super happy about that. Thanks, YouTube. Just burn me. <laughs> yeah, songs from the 1400s next. Yeah, we need a lot more Baroque musicians. Uh, the the um, A lot more of the... Uh, the um, Austro-Hungarian Empire needs to be, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. 60s to 2000s. I listen to all types of songs. Yeah. Um, I listen to all types of songs, too. It's just, yeah, they have to have be fish or ocean or octopus related. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be Bach next time ah mark you got my you got where i was going all right guys uh first class fish you were excited to finally catch the end well if you want to watch the trivia you can always watch it again spin me right round baby right round round all right guys like i said i don't know what i have i don't think it's the rona i haven't tested positive so far <coughs> but i have like such a congested chest right now so, something's <coughs> killing me. Probably just from a stressful week, wearing me down, grinding me down like a freaking hard Parmesan or Asiago. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I'm going to crash my wife's book club. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks, lurkers, mods, channel members. I was going to say, do we have any super chat? No. Channel members, thank you so much. And all y'all who played along and made this worth playing and fun, thank you. I appreciate it. You guys rock. All right, I'm getting out of here. Bye-bye. See you later. Peace.